Close your eyes and watch your breath all the way in, all the way out. Tell yourself you're going to settle in here. So it's as if you were settling into a house, you'd make adjustments, knowing that you were going to stay there for a long time. And so you make adjustments to the mind, adjustments to the breath. Adjustments to the mind mean that you check and see which direction the mind is leaning at the present moment. Is it leaning towards restlessness? Is it leaning towards sleepiness, discouragement, over-enthusiasm? Check to make sure that it stays in balance. In Thailand, they talk about setting the mind up straight so that it doesn't lean. Doesn't lean towards what it likes, doesn't lean towards what it hates, doesn't lean towards its delusions, doesn't lean towards its fears. It's the mind straight up and down. That's the mind that can maintain its position. And then you adjust the breath so it has a good place to stay. If you can make the breath comfortable in the body, even though there may be pains in different parts of the body, at least you can find some part of the body that you can make comfortable by the way you breathe. Settle in there. This is your home. This is a home you can take with you wherever you go. You go through airports, you go through customs, you go through railroad stations, but you still got your home. The world can go past, 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 but you're inside your house. It's as if you have, it's as if you have big picture windows. You can look outside, you can see everything. But things outside don't have to have an impact on you. You can keep the mind separate. In English we talk about settling in. But in Thai when they talk about getting the mind in concentration, they talk about lifting the mind. In the same way you want to lift your mind above the concerns of the world. So you can deal with the world, you can interact with the world, but you don't have to be overcome by the world. You've got your separate place. You've got a separate peace inside. And it's simply up to you to maintain it. We talk about events from outside coming in to interfere with our meditation. Actually, we're the ones who go out and pull these things in. Just the fact that something appears to your senses doesn't mean that it has to come into your space. Let it stay where it was. There's that passage where the Buddha said, if people say unkind things to you, just tell yourself an unpleasant sound has made contact at the ear and leave it there. And this applies not only to unpleasant sounds, but to pleasant sounds, and not just to sounds, but to sensory contact of all kinds. Anything that you know would get the mind upset, anything that would get the mind stirred up, just leave it right there at the contact. That way you don't clutter up your house. And you keep the mind separate. It's because we take things in that the world comes in and then overwhelms us. I was reading about a one-celled organism down in the seas under the ice in Antarctica. It's big enough to see, but for us to see. And animals come along, multicellular animals come along and think that this is a piece of food, and they take it in and then this organism just spreads around them and consumes them instead. So watch out, even though things outside may be single cell. In other words, one sight, one sound. If you let it in, it can overwhelm you. So keep your distance. Have your separate peace inside. Maintain that sense of peace and well-being, that sense of calm. And then you can be in the world and not be overcome by the world. You can have a home wherever you go in the world. There's no place where you're left homeless. You've got your shelter inside. <laughs>